What happens is that a um, patient has a concussion, they come up and don't say anything to me. Maybe they take a breather and they decide on their own, I think I feel great and I'm gonna go back out and play. If they did have a concussion to begin with um, and they go back out and play, it causes their symptoms to either linger for a longer amount of time. Um, if they are having some confusion or problems with their balance, that alone will make them more prone to get another concussion because then they can't really stay on their feet as well as they probably should. And if they have a re-injury or re-impact, um, that will definitely just make things worse. So it, I've had a couple athletes in the past, not in the recent past, but in the past who've done that, um, it usually extends the recovery period quite a bit, which gets a little bit more annoying uh, because you know that the athlete wants to go out and play. Um, so that's why I, I always advise them at the beginning of the year, if you have any symptoms that are, are concussion related, if you want me to just take a look at you, I would rather evaluate them and determine whether or not there is one present to, to have them participate safely um, rather than risk them being out for a longer period of the season just because they kind of didn't want to miss out or didn't want to speak up.